Beneath the thick stone walls of a historic island fortress, a team of researchers are working to uncover its long and gruesome past. But in a tunnel under the building once known as Ireland's Alcatraz, they stumble upon something that no one could have predicted. On the other side of an unexpected door, they find an unsettling chamber of secrets with plenty of stories to tell. Archaeologists discovered a mysterious chamber of secrets lurking beneath Ireland's Alcatraz. Sitting just off the coast of one of Ireland's most picturesque towns, Spike Island looks, from a distance, like a green and pleasant place. But for decades, it was home to one of the most notorious prisons in the world. In fact, the fortress has a fascinating history stretching back hundreds of years. Hoping to learn more about Spike Island, bioarchaeologist Barrowd and Abhain led a group to delve beneath the surface of the modern structure. And slowly, the secrets of this outcrop in the middle of Cork Harbor began to unravel. These experts came to realize that the 19th century buildings still bore traces of older structures. But what exactly did the group discover hidden behind the walls of Spike Island's formidable fortress? And what can it tell us about a place once referred to as hell on earth? On the site's official Facebook page, the find's been likened to something out of Harry Potter, and it's easy to see why. Located just a 10-minute boat journey from the coastal town of Cobb, Spike Island in the 21st century is a popular tourist destination. Historians believe it may have first been settled by monks, who founded a monastery there in the 6th century. Over the years, though, it had become a place that was far from holy. Set within one of the biggest natural harbors on Earth, Spike Island enjoys something of a strategic location. And by the 18th century the British had realized its potential, constructing a military station on the site. At its heart was a vast citadel covering more than 400,000 square feet, yet even a building of this size was soon deemed unfit for purpose. With the threat of a French attack on the horizon, the British decided to construct a new fortress more than twice the size of the original structure. Completed at the beginning of the 19th century, it housed British troops for many years before its conversion into a prison in the 1840s. So why the sudden change of use? Speaking to CNN in 2020 Odin Abhain explained, the prison was opened as a crisis response by the government to the Great Famine and to the perceived rise in criminality because the court system at the time punished theft very harshly. Across Ireland, people were starving and many broke the law in order to survive. Beginning in 1847 the prison on Spike Island became a place of incarceration for men and boys deemed guilty of a wide array of offenses. Locked up among violent robbers and murderers, reports claim, were political dissidents, vagrants and those who'd committed petty theft. In some cases, the prisoners were children not yet in their teens. Before long, the population of the island had grown to record-breaking proportions. Speaking to The Guardian in 2018, tour guide John Flynn said, in the mid-19th century, Spike was not only the largest prison in the world, with 2,300 inmates, but also a place of severe punishment, of hard labor, strict discipline and religious instruction. That's why it quickly became known as Ireland's hell. For some prisoners, it was the proximity to other men that must have proved the toughest burden to bear. According to CNN, more than three dozen were crammed into a space just 40 by 18 feet in size. And although The Guardian gives a more conservative figure of 12, there seems little doubt that Spike Island was a crowded and uncomfortable place. Outside the fortress, inmates didn't fare much better. Chained to each other, they were forced to perform back-breaking manual tasks around the island. And even today, the fruits of their labor can be seen in the banks that lead up to the fortress. A clever piece of construction that helped to fend off attacks, it's the legacy of an enslaved workforce who had little choice in the matter. Then there were those on the other side of the spectrum, kept in solitary confinement and chained to the walls of their wet, chilly cells. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the prison became a breeding ground for psychological illnesses and infections. It's estimated that more than 1,000 inmates perished while being held at Spike Island. Writing in 1863 Charles Bernard Gibson, the chaplain of Spike Island's jail, stated, the prisoners are kept like a menagerie of wild animals that snarl and fight in defiance of their keepers. But the tragic conditions and consequent deaths in this awful facility aren't the only skeletons in its closet. So who were the men who found themselves incarcerated on Spike Island? Some of them, we know, were bound for the British penal outposts, waiting in Cork Harbor for a boat to take them to the other side of the world. Others were simply individuals who'd found themselves on the wrong side of the political status quo. Over the years, the prison housed a number of well-known characters, including William Johnston, who successfully escaped from Spike Island on his third attempt. 
On the other side of the bars, the famed British explorer Percy Fawcett served as a major on the island before setting his sights on a more adventurous career. After almost 40 years as a prison, the facility closed in 1883, reverting to being a military base once more. But that wasn't the end of Spike Island's sinister history. In the 1921 War of Independence, the fortress was used to house hundreds of Republicans, some of whom made it back across the water to freedom. Then, in 1985 it again became an infamous jail. According to a news report at the time, Ireland was in the grip of a crime crisis, with the prison population predicted to grow. And so, Spike Island was repurposed as an incarceration facility for those guilty of lesser infractions. But a riot soon broke out among the inmates, resulting in irreparable damage to a number of structures. Eventually, in 2004 Spike Island Jail closed its doors for good, and the fortress was left empty. With such a fascinating history, though, it was bound to attract interest, and in 2015 guided tours began operating. The next year, with government funding, an extensive visitor center opened on the site. In recent times, Fortress Spike Island has welcomed more than 80,000 visitors a year. And in 2017 it was announced by the World Travel Awards as the top site in Europe, beating out the likes of Barcelona's Sagrada Familia and the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. But despite all those people traipsing through its doors, it's managed to keep some remarkable secrets. So what was it that Odin Abhain and his team found hidden beneath the walls of Spike Island's gloomy fortress? On August 6, 2020 an announcement was published on the site's official Facebook page. In it, those working behind the scenes revealed that a recent excavation had delivered some surprising results. Apparently, archaeologists had been working to open up parts of the modern fortress not previously accessible to visitors. And one of these, according to reports, was a tunnel running beneath the walls, known as a sallyport. Typically found in military architecture, these passageways once allowed soldiers to enter and exit the building. But this particular tunnel had a surprise in store, an opening into a hidden chamber beyond. The Facebook post read, when we removed the wall that had been blocking it up for decades we did not expect to find a door. And as they looked inside, they were in for another shock. On the other side of the opening, the team found an old spiral staircase that appeared to be suspended in mid-air. The post continued, it is cut from stone and seems to float like something out of Harry Potter. As it turns out, though, the feature isn't actually magical, though it is a fascinating relic from another time. According to the Facebook post, experts believe that the staircase probably dates back around 230 years, and so far it's a unique find at the site. The post explained, being on the east side of the fort it is highly likely that this was part of the first fort built on the island in 1790, explaining it being the only one. So how had this piece of history ended up like something out of a fantasy movie, hovering in the air behind a secret door? The post continued, the work to build the much larger present fort which was started in 1804 swallowed up that first fort and made the sally port and staircase redundant, so it was blocked up and hidden to this day. In fact, the staircase was so well concealed that none of the employees working at Spike Island were aware of its existence, even those who have been there for decades. And a delve into the records of the fortress showed that the feature didn't appear on documents relating to the later structure. The 1804 plans and later drawings make no reference to the staircase, so it truly was a most pleasant shock to see this door leading off this chamber of secrets to such a beautiful piece of stonework, manager John Crotty revealed in an August 2020 press release. And that wasn't the only thing that the team found. According to the Facebook post, archaeologists uncovered a collection of wine bottles and bones scattered at the bottom of the concealed staircase. Thankfully, the latter turned out to be from animals, rather than any humans trapped inside the sealed chamber. The glass containers, though, were still half full of alcohol, suggesting that the spot was once a favored location for enjoying a drink or two. So what does this discovery mean for Spike Island? Might there be more secrets just waiting to be discovered? Speaking to CNN Alan Callahan, the site's assistant manager, said, it also leads to the possibility that there are other types of these staircases elsewhere in other parts of the older fort. In a fascinating twist, Callahan also speculated that staircases such as this one might once have played a role in daring escape attempts. And though there's no firm evidence to support this claim, it's easy to imagine political prisoners of the past fleeing down the stone passageway towards freedom. For those in charge of Spike Island, the staircase is just the latest in a long line of fascinating discoveries that have brought the fortress to life. In fact, Odin Abhain and his team have been excavating the site since 2013, when they started investigating a graveyard where past convicts were buried. 
Given that so many inmates are believed to have perished at the fortress, it's hardly surprising that the island's home to a couple of graveyards. One, covering the period up to 1860, is believed to have served as the final resting place for as many as 1,000 souls. But it's at a second, smaller site that the archaeologists have been digging. According to CNN, the death rate at Spike Island had slowed down considerably by the time that this second graveyard came into use. Even so, it's believed that around one prisoner every month was interred at the site. To date, Odin Abhain and his team have found 35 separate burials dating to this period. Speaking to CNN, Odin Abhain observed that the level of care taken over the burials was remarkable, particularly given that fellow prisoners had been responsible for the task. In some cases, they even took the time to decorate the flimsy coffins to give them the appearance of pricier oak caskets. I read it as a gift from one prisoner to another," Odin Abhain told CNN. You're being buried in a convict graveyard on a convict island that's out of bounds to the rest of society, and yet your peers are just taking care to make a statement that this person was of some worth. As it turns out, though, not everyone was respectful towards the dead on Spike Island. During his excavations, Odin Abhain also unearthed a number of skeletons with a rather bizarre feature, they were missing the upper section of their skulls. In a grim development, he suspects that there may be a link with experiments conducted at the behest of the eccentric Italian Cesare Lombroso in the 19th century. An early criminologist, he believed that some people are born lawbreakers and that certain physical characteristics can be used to identify them. In order to prove his theories, Lombroso conducted a number of experiments on deceased criminals. But did a sinister reach extend all the way to the prisoners of Spike Island? Speaking to CNN, Odin Abhain admitted that there's no definitive proof of a connection, though it certainly makes for a compelling story. The archaeologist has also been studying the fortress's more recent incarnation as a prison for minor offenders, as well as its more distant past. When Odin Abhain arrived, CNN reported, he discovered the walls of the building lined with contemporary graffiti, including the names and hometowns of inmates. Interestingly, this revealed that the region's black spots of social disadvantage are the same today as they were in the 19th century. Today, of course, a different sort of visitor travels to Spike Island, keen to learn more about the fortress's murky past. Speaking to CNN, Odin Abhain said, people are drawn to places that are out of bounds. If you tell people they can't go there, they want to see what's behind the walls. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.